his house and check out his block for him. Yeah, he uh, hopefully didn't buy a bad uh, motor. Everything was supposed to be good, and he popped the VTEC solenoid off, and there was a bunch of metal shavings in it. So I'm gonna go and check the block because he said there's a couple nicks in the cylinder wall. I'm gonna see if it could be honed. If not, he's gonna have to send it to a machine shop and get it oversized. So I made it over to my dude's house. We're looking at his engine. He got it from a guy. He hasn't even ran it yet. But uh, definitely whoever had it before, he said he somebody put a B16 oil pan on it. There's metal shavings in there. And his VTEC solenoid on that bad boy. The screen was, it was what? To totally oh, plugged up. Was, there was so much. Yeah. There was so much shavings. He said the guy before with the bottom end let loose and uh, he put the head on this block without having uh, the head hot tanked or anything. He said he ran it for, I got videos of it running. Really? I mean it fucking, it got down. It was supposedly the dude, that, some dude in Tennessee, he's got one of the fastest uh, all motor hatches out there. He had this motor originally. The kid blew up his B16, went and bought this. And then fucking put the head on it. And then after he blew the trans on this, he, uh, you know, there's some of the metal shavings in there. I cleaned some of it out, but. Yeah, there was a lot more in there in that picture. Oh, well, there was hella. <laughs> there was hella. But he blew the trans off this, pulled everything, and then he went case it. He sold it, or he sold this to some dude in Kentucky. The dude didn't even rent, run in Kentucky because where he was at, there was no E85. It was like 100 miles just to get E85. <laughs> But I was like, fuck it, you know, I'll come get it. I'll, I'll buy that motherfucker because he only wanted 800 bucks. I was like, I'll give you wheels and 300 bucks. He's like, deals, come get it. So I went and picked it up. What pistons are in that? Uh, YCP. Yeah, I'm pretty sure YCP. 13, 5 to 1 high compression pistons. That ought to thump. 
super high compression. I'll be on the 85 already on an AM 85 pump in it. It's about 320. What's the, what size injectors? I'm doing a FID 550. Yeah, he's been working on this thing for a, a while. Give me a nice little, little spring work. He's went through every nut and bolt on the damn car. <laughs> Literally everything. A little carbon fiber fucking door panel, little pieces. I like it, man. It's, it's clean. It came a long way from when I got it. It was filthy. What year is it? 99. 99 EM1. Yeah, I literally drove this thing one time. Literally one time. Yeah, I got it down the road. And I went and picked uh, later on that night I picked up my brother from his girlfriend's and then came here and ripped it apart because all the B20. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know what? I tripped apart. Might as well paint the bay and might as well just do a bunch of stuff to it. Yeah, you cleaned it up. So, uh, Bonded everything. Yeah, I bonded everything and then welded all the holes. There are these holes up here. I welded like on here. There's like a lip and then there's like a massive hole right here. Filled all that and with uh, bondo. Some of the stuff back here I shaved. On that side I shaved. Um, I was gonna do like the little metal plate all over this and shave all that, but I didn't feel like going through all that. I was like, might as well just leave it how it is. I don't know yet if I'm gonna. Do the full brake tuck kit or not yet? I got the master set for like a fucking chase bay set up, but I don't know yet if I'm still gonna do it. Hell yeah. Shit, man, if you crack down on that, dude, you could probably have that thing running in a couple, two, three weeks. The biggest thing is is machine shop. That's the original oil pump. This is uh, ITR or uh, Type R pump. But that's the one he had on it. Yeah, that's the one he had on it. I'd take it apart, clean it, clean it, make sure there ain't no shavings in that. Especially if you want the longest life possible yeah, out of it. Yeah, the longest. He's got a pretty gnarly <laughs> ass header on there. Well, for it. Like how they put the bungs up there already for the wide band. I've always wanted that header. I've always <laughs> wanted it. And I was like, fuck it, you know what? I got the cash, I'm buying it. Going to do uh, the hood exit. I'm actually going to, I'm debating if I'm going to get a carbon fiber hood or just wrap it carbon fiber because I got a bunch of carbon fiber wrap. So I don't know yet. I don't know if I feel like spending the $600 on the hood or if I just feel like sitting out here for a couple hours and just wrapping it and cutting the hole. <laughs> But eventually, I'm gonna have the whole car painted, all the body work done on, all the little dents. That's original paint too. Yep. That colors that. It's pretty damn close to that. Yeah, that's the actual electron blue pearl, but that's out of a spray can. Paint matched. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, sometimes man, rattle can tune ups. Hey, rattle can. I can do some <laughs> shit with some rattle can, dude. Straight up. I've done a lot of these bays. I can make some rattle can look real good. The biggest thing is clear. If you get uh, if you get some good clear, you could literally do the shittiest rattle can job as long as you got good clear. It'll, it'll look good. Yeah. One thing I noticed. People do the rattle can tune ups, and you could see the, the line. Oh, dude, I literally, I probably stayed at it.
get a Z6 for the EX Trans.